Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to We're taking a look at another version of the Tamo 2, which is the collaborative kit here between Korobukiya and Maru Toys. Now the really interesting thing about this version of the kit is it's also in collaboration with Motorhythm, and that's where we get the color scheme for this. Basically, Motorhythm is the designer who designs the Mechatro kits, for example. So he designed the color scheme for this kit, Maru Toys designed the model design, and basically Korobukiya produced it and released it. So let's go ahead and get into it in today's review. Alright guys, starting off taking a look at the box and its contents. Once again, the box art for this is a photograph of the actual kit in like this mini diorama, which is very cool. This one's set in like a product showcase kind of scene here. You can imagine this at like a trade fair or something like that, which looks pretty cool. You've got the Kodobukiya X Motor Toys X Mod Rhythm and then like a little plaque over here. The Chubu sign up in the corner. Over here on the side of the box, the same thing and all your text and logos and everything there. On the bottom of the box, the normal mode front and back internal mode showing you all those beautiful details on the inside under the armor customize you can do that although this is not necessarily showing you any customization here but there's obviously hard points throughout the kit some easy ways to customize that and a decals looks like we have some decals included which should be very cool including maru toys and chubu decals and these cool caution striping decals so some very nice decals included with this one and then on the top of the box there's a look at the two different versions of this that came out this is the green version there's also a blue version available as well over here in very fine print we have a list price of 3200 yen for this one all right, it's popping up in the box. Pretty familiar kits now. Pretty interesting that the kind of uh, inner frame, as it were, is in this kind of dark green color there. Got our instructions and our water slides. Let's take a look at these real quick. There's your caution striping, Chubu logos, Atarashi logos, and we have those in black and in white. The Maru Toys logo there also in black and white. It's more caution striping, so these are really nice. And the instruction manual featuring basically everything that we saw already on the outside of the box. But here's your color guide there on the back. I would assume this would be using some of like the Mechatro colors that are available. Some of the Mechatro Gaia paints. If you have those, if you have access to those, that's probably what you could use. To match these colors on here. Here's a look at the other Kotobukiya collaboration that they did with the Mechatro line that's the other Motorhome collaboration release that they came out with. Here's a look at just customizing that with some different option parts, all different sorts of stuff from Kotobukiya here of course. The rest of the inside of the manual here, we've got our parts list and construction of the kit. And then another thing over here, an information section about the creators. So there's some information here about Maru Toys, who were the designers of the Tamotu. And then down here about Modorhythm, aka Kobayashi Kazushi, who is a modeler who designed the Mechatro kits. So it's kind of like he came up with like the color schemes for these. And then the designs are by Maro Toys. And then the kit is produced by Kodobukiya. So there you go. Getting into the runners here now, this is pretty interesting. You actually just have two full versions of the A runner. One is in that kind of teal blue color and one is in this off-white cream color. So you could make it all white, going off white cream, or all blue, or you can mix and match the colors as it shows in the artwork. So that's pretty interesting. Our B, C, and D runners are all the parts for the internal frame, which again is in this dark green color. A very interesting color here for this as well. The D runner, we've got two of those, that's parts for the legs. And then lastly, the E runner is just going to be these clear parts for the sort of eyes or the kind of lights on it. Alright guys, so here's the kit all built up. You've seen it a couple times before at this point, so nothing really too new or surprising with this one other than the colors, but I gotta say the colors do look fantastic on this. It's a kit that's always had such an awesome design and now to see it in these colors, which are really reminiscent of like retro sort of, I guess, 50s or 60s kind of like appliance type of colors, which is definitely like a color scheme and just an aesthetic that's definitely been coming back more into style these days, actually sort of that mid-century modern style. So the colors on it look great and again, it's just a really nice looking model kit. Even if you just want to build it straight out of the box and just play around with it, it's such a nice solid kit as well too. So you have your legs that fold out and you have multiple points of articulation there with those. The wheels don't actually turn and they're not the right color. So as far as like missing colors go, the wheels are supposed to be black. These little smaller lights there in the front are supposed to be orange just going off the box art. And then of course you have lots of detail both inside and I was gonna say out, not really on the outside, but at least on the bottom part there. But so you have lots of detail that you could go ahead and paint in, but just as far as just if you want to build the kit up and just have it on your desk and play around with it, it's a really solid kit that you can do that without worrying about things breaking or like any delicate little parts like that. It does have a few small parts in there, but overall, nothing that you would really need to worry too much about. So you can lift the head up so you can kind of change the angle of that 
of course rotate that the clear parts on it look really nice the arm on top this also has multiple points of articulation you can rotate that lift that up and down you can also extend this out and then turn that left or right you have your little claw at the at the end which opens up there you go so you can use that and you can also then rotate this as well so you have a lot of articulation here with that you can basically move it anywhere you might want to or just leave it folded up like this and the box art actually shows it this way i think it does look a little bit more kind of normal like that to me but you know either way you want to show that and of course it's highly customizable with these hard points here on the side as well as the hard points here on the top and the back if you wanted to remove this part here you can actually just move that onto the side of here like that and again if you had two of them you can combine parts and do all that and there's also one little hard point here at the front if you remove this piece there you can add something onto there as well but it's just such a really fun kit to work with this is my third one that i've built and i really really enjoy these kits i have to tell you guys if you've not built one of these kits i highly recommend you pick one up you know whichever color version you might find that suits you best i honestly really enjoy painting these kits as well so the first two that i've built i've also painted this one i'm definitely looking forward to painting as well for this one just being a color swap it does kind of seem you know like what's the point of buying a new color version if you're just going to paint it anyway i kind of understand but i just wanted to take a look at the colors of this one here to share with you guys and i'm not sure what i'm going to do for the paint scheme for this one yet so i'm going to have to think some more about that but but anyway guys, it's such a fun little kit, I can highly recommend it for y'all. If you have any questions, of course, do feel free to let me know down, down in the comment section below. But let me know your thoughts there. What do you guys think about this kit? Do you have one or multiple? Do you really like them? Or no, I can't imagine that you would be someone who maybe bought this kit, built it, and then didn't like it. But if you guys are interested in picking up any of these, you can check the link to USA Gundam Store down in the video description below. So you've got all kinds of these. Everything else from Kotobukiya and all sorts of different mecha models and paints and tools and everything there for you guys. So check that out. As always, thank you so much for checking out the video here today if you would like to also like the video and subscribe that would be greatly appreciated as well really appreciate you guys thank you so much until next time hope you're all having a great day i'll see you guys later bye bye